हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर वत्सल दी पटेल फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वर्किंग एट महात्मा गांधी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च सेंटर नवसारी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टेक्निकल कम्युनिकेशन सो अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज पब्लिक स्पीकिंग स्किल्स पब्लिक स्पीकिंग स्किल्स मे बी डिफाइंड एज द आर्ट ऑफ एपीरिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑन ऑडियंस facing the audience presenting your speech and making them understand what you want them to understand within the limited time and resources given to you so if we talk about public speaking speaking is one of the micro skills to be developed as a tool of successful communication it is needed to organize properly before you initiate your speech planning is the main aspect of public speaking that communicates to address a lot of people on such official events like any other official task public speaking needs scheduling groundwork and perfect implementation of our views for all these things a lot of struggle and persistence is needed by the speaker self resilience imagination of subjects and speaking competence are the essential features of enhancement when speaking to the audience as reading and listening are measured to be the two respective skills in language learning and use writing and speaking are the other two productive skills essential to be included in the improvement of effective communication of all the four macro english skills speaking is the most significant skill required for the communication so there can be different forms of public speaking like short talks or presentations discussions or say group discussions meetings briefings or instructions debates and seminars so for all this when a speech concerning an audience is taken into the consideration the act of speaking is considered to be more complicated than common day by day conversation and a number of other skills are therefore incorporated in the speaking delivery process for example choosing topics organizing thoughts tailoring the message and adapting to the listener's feedback developing confidence in speaking to an audience is a factor that strengthens speaking performance other out of class factor that enhance participants speaking include frequent listening to english material such as listening to music watching movies listening to the radio watching television programs and accessing multimedia websites freedom of theme selection promotes the speaker to feel contented and motivated to speak and absolutely increase speaking confidence so next we are going to see speech style so if we talk about everyday speaking skill there are different speech styles like formal as we use in the interviews informal as you use it with the close friends polite using the word please and thank you while talking normal which we normal use in day to day life strong when you want to admonish someone next is blunt when you want to snub someone tentative using the words maybe i do not know if could etc etc and direct when you are talking directly to someone like do this okay so it is dependent on the mood of the person who is talking the mood of the person who is listening relationship between the persons who are talking to each other the situation they are in and the subject they are talking on so how we can make our speech interesting so in a day to day professional world many speeches are delivered on regular basis in public speaking the hardest thing is to make your listener to listen your speech it is an art to concentrate your audience in your speech 
it will be developed and included in your speech progressively so there are number of things which can be used for developing speech or making the speech interesting which are mainly making your beginning catchy like as we make a start catchy it will directly create a good rapport with the listener it will also increase the self confidence of the speaker by using good thoughts in the beginning speaker will also feel motivated and homely to facilitate the interest of the audience speaker should use some interesting statement in the beginning it will give you an instant force to rest of your speech next one is use appropriate humor and wit so to make a public speech interesting to listeners one must use humor and wit in his or her speech it is essential at some extent for an effective captivating and unforgettable speech if humor and wit is used properly it creates a lively effect in the mind of the listener next use appropriate body language like suitable body language can facilitate a speaker to perform better and lack of it can lead to poor and unconvincing performances body language plays a pivot role in public speaking while delivering a speech body language and your speech should go hand in hand next use proper voice modulation it is important for a speaker to introduce variation in his voice and make a proper voice modulation next use examples and instances like using examples from one's personal life for professional experience in speech always add to the interest of the audience and the last one is end on an empathetic note like when you conclude your speech the audience expect you to speak about the most important part of your speech it will create a lasting and impressive impact on the listener's mind so next we are going to see about public speaking skills the very fact that the spotlight is you and is enough to trigger every fear and anxiety you have ever had about public speaking so how can we organize public speech so for that introduction is the main one like introduction is important to get the audience attention and to present your topic in a clear and compelling fashion it is also helpful to show the topic's importance relevance or interest and it will help the audience to forecast the main points or major ideas of your presentation it will help to develop a logical thinking so the beginning of a presentation is the most important part it is when you establish rapport with the audience and when you have the have to grab their attention so to get the audience attention and signal the beginning you can use the word like right well okay let's begin good fine great can we start shall we start like this okay next one is greet your audience it is important to greet the audience by saying something like hello ladies and gentlemen good morning all and one good afternoon esteemed guests good evening members of the board fellow colleagues mr chairman or chairwoman thank you for your kind attendance like that okay then after introduce oneself like name position and company do this not only to give important information so people can identify you but also to act, establish your authority on the subject and to allow the audience to see your point of view on the subject like you are a student researcher responsible for director of and layman etc etc so we can use the words like good afternoon ladies and gentlemen let me introduce myself like good morning everyone i would like to start by introducing myself like my name is i am a student at i am a doctorate candidate i am a manager of i am a researcher from and i have been working on the subject from now for this many years like this okay and 
next is the give title and introduce subject so what exactly you are going to speak about situate the subject in time and place in relation to the audience and or its importance give a rough idea or a working definition of the subject like i plan to speak about today i am going to talk about the subject of my presentation is the theme of my talk is i have been asked to give you an overview of like this okay and the last one is the conclusion a good conclusion has two things reminds the audience of your key points and reinforces your message okay so next here why you think that you may be judged by all those people and they may judge you badly you may feel like a fool you might make mistakes and lose your way you will be completely humiliated so these are the various reason why we have fear in public speaking skills so next are we are going to see barriers to the speaking which are mainly seven types of barriers are there first one is physical barriers then perceptual barriers emotional barriers cultural barriers language barriers gender barriers and interpersonal barriers so how to avoid communication barriers so let us see about it so to avoid barriers start paying attention to the type of facial expression we use like facial expression must be appropriate based on the topic listeners and objectives add variety to your gestures by relaxing your arms back to the your side after you complete a gesture occasional positive gesture grab your listeners attention keep your objective in mind think in terms of what you your listener needs to know about what you want them to do not what you want to tell them okay so minimize the use of word like um oh like which are distracting the listener can miss our message and do not lose eye contact with the audience give the handouts or ppt after the speech take a moment to pause as you transition your eyes from one individual to another so there are different types of speaking like uh, conversation which is informal conversation and formal conversation next is speaking in beauty pigments then after uh, extem extemporaneous speech and last one is persuasive speech so let us see several points to of contrast of it so persuasive speaking urges us to choose from informative speaking reveals and clarifies options persuasive speaking ask the audience for more commitment than does informative speaking the ethical obligation for persuasive speakers are even greater than our for informative speakers the persuasive speaker is a leader the informative speaker is a teacher persuasive speaking more often involves emotional appeals that are out of place in speeches to inform so how to overcome the fear of public speaking so public speaking is not comfortable but once you are actually in the front of your audience pay attention to them you must make your audience your friend rehearsal is very important for delivering charismatic assured and memorable performance you must rehearse so two points are there mainly the uh, speech is a both mental and a physical activity and the second one is rehearsal gives you the strength to go to the distance so it is included like who what how when and why like who you are speaking to what are their interests what do they share in common with others so if we talk about public speaking the public speaking audience can be divided into the following categories like age audience can be children teen or youths middle age or elderly teenagers have unique needs for public speakers to address 
you must know the requirements to command the attention of the group of young people. If you do not just this thing, you will increase the effectiveness of your public speaking when it is to our youth. So at last, what we can do for the public speaking? So what do you wish to communicate? How can you best convey your message? Language is very important here. Planning, a beginning, middle and end. Audiovisual ads must be prepared beforehand if time allows. When timing is important, there is a time to speak and a time to be silent. Where you must or say you may have time to visit the room. For example, rearrange the furniture according to the requirement. So check for availability and visibility if you are using audio or visual ad. And last one is why. Listeners should be converted into admirers you need to know why they should listen to you so here i end my session remaining topics we will cover in next lecture so till then goodbye and thank you all of you